This video is to show you how to draw the triangles in circles for today's lesson. You should be using pencil, ruler and paper copies to do this and an angle measure or protractor. I'm going to show you it digitally because it's a bit easier to do the demonstration digitally. If you are using the digital version on GeoGebra, um, I'll give you some more instructions later on, but please don't use the digital version if you have the paper copies. It's only if you don't, because the paper copies allow you to do more things that you can't do on the digital copy. So, um, you have um, the what we call a circular geo board. This is called a geo board, uh, a geometry board. It's a shortening of geometry board. It has a dot in the middle, and it has nine dots equally spaced around the outside. When you draw the triangles, what I'd like you to do, first of all, for part one, is to draw a triangle that has one corner, one vertex in the center. So click on the center and join a line to one dot. Click on the center again and join to a different dot. We'll go to that one. And then join those two to make your triangle. So there's one of the triangles we could make. There are others. When you've drawn that, I want you to mark the angle by using your angle measurer. Mark the angle at each vertex, like that. Ah, oh, that one's gone the wrong way. Sorry, if you're doing the digital version that happens sometimes, just try it again, and there we go. So there we've got our angle. So this triangle has angles of uh, 70 degrees, 70 degrees, and 40 degrees. So how many triangles are there that you can use, uh, that you can make using one, using the center for one of the vertices, one corner of your triangle? I'm now going to show you how to do part two. So for part two, we have another blank diagram here. For part two, this time, we don't have the restriction of using the center dot. I want you to use three of the dots on the circumference on the circle itself. So let's choose one, two, and let's choose that one there. So there is our triangle. And again, mark the angle at each vertex. So we've got, oops, sorry about that, let's get rid of that. Mark the angle at each vertex, and you'll be doing this on paper using your angle measurer to measure those angles. And we can see here this particular triangle has angles of 80, 60, and 40 degrees. But there are lots of other triangles that you can make. So see how many different triangles you can make using three dots on the circumference of the circle, not including the center dot, and measure their angles. Those of you working on paper, this is where the extra challenge is because measuring the angles on paper is going to be a little bit more bit more difficult and I might show you how to do that later on in the lesson if you're stuck.